Conway the Machine is finally ready to release his shady debut, God Don't Make Mistakes, and to get us ready for the album, which is coming out in two weeks now, uh, he's dropped John Wooflick, featuring Bane the Butcher and West Side Gun. Seeing as this may be the official single, it's only right we go bar for bar and break down these lyrics. If you're new here, these breakdowns are where I go through and read out the lyrics to a song and give my interpretation of what the artist is trying to say. My interpretations are not always correct, and I do miss things, so if I've missed something or misinterpreted anything, please let me know in the comments below. That way, everyone gets to learn something. So the track starts off with Conway's verse. Tell the rap niggas we taking over. Had to change the flow up. Now I'm in the Maybach, sipping a spade mimosa. Take a big and make a quota with the baker soda. Pray that Jehovah K with the shoulder strap spray is over. So this immediately made it sound like this is an older song, just because of him saying we taken over. Like Griselda's kind of been on a very consistent run for a while now, and. I mean, it does make sense because God Don't Make Mistakes was teased pretty much since they signed to Shady and even before that. So if this was recorded early in his Shady signing, yeah, that makes sense. We take it over. Take the bid and make the quota with the bacon soda. Take the bid usually, well, to me, is, you know, whatever, whatever uh, jail time or whatever sentence you have, just take it and get over it or deal with it, and then he's like, yeah, we'll just make the quota with baking soda. The quota being sales, <laughs> but also maybe just a way to get whoever that is out and on uh, probation or on bail. Not probation, yeah, bail. <laughs> Pray to Jehovah K with a shoulder strap, spray his home up. He's saying, or telling everyone else to pray to Jehovah, or these people in rap, these rappers, who is told we taken over, like, pray to Jehovah, we coming and we gonna spray your home up. Wait, hold up, if I said so, spray your rover. Uh, so, he's changing his mind, he's not gonna spray the home up anymore, he's now he's gonna redirect the shots to your Range Rover and then spray the fold up which I'm assuming is convertible <laughs> and like these guys that are good fellas like Ray Liotta like good fellas reference because Ray Liotta was in it but also everything else uh, spray the spray 80 the baby woke up shooter sniff the yay he need to wake his nose up so spray 80 80 shots and then the baby woke up because I mean if you fire on guns and there's a baby around, I mean, <laughs> that makes sense. Um, but then the shooter sniffed the yay, he need to wake his nose up. Uh, his shooter or their shooters? I'm assuming his shooter, I guess. But uh, I think I think they've already gone and said you shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> uh, but whatever. Yeah, I'm from the yeah. east side. The niggas over there be wild. Uh -huh. He's from the east side, Buffalo. Everyone out there be wildin'. And they all catch bodies, throwing bullets like Aaron Rodgers. Like, uh, the NFL player. Um, and then he's looking at everyone, or in rap, and like, yo, is there a problem? Which, it's kind of weird because he keeps flipping back between talking to rappers and then kind of referencing like his more street life I guess or his past possibly and it's like maybe he's talking to them and he's telling them all these things and they're just like astounded that this is actually what he did because in rap people people may stretch the truth a little bit and then he parts the <laughs> he parts the middle of your head like Larry Johnson which is just hilarious uh, Larry Johnson had the the middle part, which. Push in the morning, drink my yak in the day. I mean, I guess 
you live your life however you want to however you want to start your morning man <laughs> and he's tired of people saying or talking about back in the day uh which may be talking about people in rap again which is kind of interesting because Conway is a little bit older so he's not so far removed from I guess people who would be saying that uh but it is also important to note that Griselda and Conway included is kind of pushing a slightly different sound but maybe he's also talking to those guys who um just kind of think that the general sound of rap like pop rap is the current sound and he's like nah i'm gonna prove to you that this is something else and then he's riding around with two things his mac and a k and gonna if he if you think he's playing gonna pull up on you and blast you away <laughs> i need to see the money pile over uh -huh. my suit uh -huh. coming off the bench like cow core had the body for money left with foul odor i'm kobe bryant on my team i'm the fucking close this man loves his his references sports references everywhere uh, another nba reference with kyle corver coming off the bench uh, his shooter's always ready and then you know you go hide the body obviously after a while he's gonna leave a foul, foul odor and then he's like nah i'm kobe <laughs> i'm the fucking closer like bruh like you don't even have to be super well versed in like in basketball just to understand most of these references it's great i love it this then goes into the chorus if i guess if you want to call it that uh where he basically just repeats uh, then we also get a bridge which has conway and benny on Damager compared to Rizza. I'm compared to niggas that will stab you in your face with a pair of scissors. Oh, Cross side watching the Wizards. Cartier's expensive. Uh -huh. Air to extend it. Uh -huh. How you land somewhere in the tips? Derringer, they're. No, I mean, I guess. I was going to say in house, but yeah, I, I guess Derringer's in house producer for Griselda. Or at least the producer that they go to often. He's compared to Rizza. Like, I mean, you get that. I mean, like, Derringer is the sound of. Zelda as Riza is the sound of Wu-Tang. And <laughs> he's like, but but me, I'm compared to dudes that'll stab you in the face with a pair of scissors. Like, I'm crazy. <laughs> and then, you know, of course I watched the Wizards, Cotty is expensive. I I'm sure there's a picture out there while they're where they're of course I watched the Wizards with nice watches. And then air the extended, have you laying somewhere in intensive. Uh the extended being an extended mag, it's gonna fire all shots. And after he does so, you're going to be laying somewhere in intensive, which also could be where the sprayed 80 <laughs> baby woke up came from. Then we get Benny's verse. I swing his Mac, I'm clearing the fences. Enough shooters on my team, now embarrass the pistons. Nigga, the trap empty. All I had, kitchen wear in the biscuit. That's it. I need a pile of dirty cash or somewhere I can risk it. Uh -huh. He's swinging the Mac, firing off shots, clearing the fences. So if people were climbing over the fences, they go and jump right back over. Um, uh, or, I mean, you could also argue that if you're firing off so many shots, uh, the wood is going to break. <laughs> so he's clearing the fences, literally. And he's got enough shooters on his team to embarrass the Pistons. All right. <laughs> uh, the trap empty, all I had was kitchenware and a biscuit. Kitchenware, you know, probably to, to cook something up. Uh, this for my niggas in the Fed Max who pray daily. I remember that. My dog put his mask up and spray 80. That's Wayne Perry shit. That nigga's Wayne Brady's. Pussy. I'm leaving with your daughter if you can't pay me. So this verse is for all his all his boys that are locked up in uh in feds in federal the the maximum security levels. I forget. I I'm blanking on the proper term now. Um and they're you know out there praying daily. His and then his dude pulled his dog pulled up his mask and sprayed 80. So you know, like, for dramatic effect, people do that. <laughs> They're like, I'm going to show my face, and then I'm going to shoot you. Like, well, you know, maybe you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but, um, you know, it, they do that. Like, you see, you see movies, they do that all the time. They were, that's Wayne Perry shit. Y'all dudes, Wayne Brady. Uh, Wayne Perry being a New York gangster. And then uh, he's like, we're hard like him. 
and you're soft like Wayne Brady, which I I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I mean, sure, I guess you could say that. Uh, I don't know enough about Wayne Brady's life like that. These OGs around me real veterans. Fact, my shooters real reckless. It take a lot for me to feel threatened, nigga. In interviews, they asking real questions. Like what? Like, is you still hustling? Your videos, you using real weapons? No comment. These OGs around him are real veterans. Uh, so the people that he surrounds himself, they, they've been through it. They've, they've lived a life. <laughs> His shooters are real reckless, so it takes a lot for him to feel threatened. I mean, if you're, if you're coming from where he's come from, and if you're around people who are also just kind of in that life regularly, I can see where he's coming from. Like, he, it takes a lot for him to feel like he's not safe or threatened in some sort of way. And then in interviews, they're asking him real questions like, are you still hustling and are you using real weapons? He just says no comment. Uh, I think that's, that's enough. <laughs> it's time to clip you, we the ones to move. I got the call about it before I seen it on the news. Like brown interior, the seats peanut butter too. The whole gang be doing life if we leave it up to you. If it's time to clip you, we the ones to move. Uh, clip mean like cut you out, cut you off, uh, deal with you in some way. And he got the call about it before he seen it on the news. So if something happened... He got a call about it before like they the reporters could get a hold of it so if they took care of someone he got a call confirming that's been done before the news put it out light brown interior the seats peanut butter too i don't know why he threw that in there but then him saying the whole gang would be doing life if we leave it up to you because whoever they went after or whoever got clipped is a snitch Everybody cool. Everybody th everybody keep a G until they, you know, until they get hit with a hawk. A gun. <laughs> and then he's saying he had a clientele's list as big as New York. New York's very large. So his clientele list was pretty big as well. And because his clientele's list was so big... He has a very thick door to his bedroom because it's as thick as a vault, uh, which, I mean, you could think of it as more like, well, at least I'm thinking of it more of a luxury thing. Like you have thick, heavy doors because, you know, it just, it feels nice. But also, I mean, if someone was trying to break in, it would take them a lot longer. Uh, then we get West Side Guns verse. Hey, yo, Nickel. no bricks ah. in the off-white Ramoa. There are no bricks in that luggage <laughs> because they're see-through and they rock this luggage for the culture. Uh, presumably, well, I mean, because Virgil Abloh was huge for the culture. Rest in peace. Bodies on each pole. We keep, keep acting like you know us. Uh, in the strip club, beautiful nightmares. We running out of soda. So, the beautiful nightmares. I mean, it's an oxymoron. Like nightmares are usually negative, but because it's saying beautiful, it's like there's some good to it. So them running out of soda, like baking soda, or you know, just for the for the work, like they 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 may be in the position where they don't really need it anymore. Or they may have not needed it anymore. And that's like on one side, like if you're still in that life, it's a nightmare. But you could also think of it if you're, you know, doing something else with your career, like, oh no, that's beautiful. We don't even have to worry about that anymore. It's fine. And, you know, as, as West Side Gun is one to do, he talks about the finer things. <laughs> He's, and then he goes on to say, Caught me an island, dip the bends in gold, like, let me do all this shit. Cook another brick, then the kitchen closed. So, kind of going back to the, we run out of soda, like, whatever we got, this is the last brick, that's it. And ran up in his locker, take his phone. Uh, 
I don't know where this guy came from, but they gonna get him. <laughs> they gonna make sure he can't contact anybody. So catch him in his cell, he got sprayed up. So either that locker is a cell or he's in jail. Um, and this is like, I'm assuming someone that they caught. So like uh, going back to Benny's verse also, like whoever this is, he's in the pen. And because maybe because they're worried that he's going to snitch, he's going to get hit. Or he did actually do it because he got... Or he goes on to say he did it for some oil and a prayer rug, you know, like he did all these things, but like, or he, he snitched on us just for these things. Uh, machine gun in the summer, still wearing gloves, machine gun, rest in peace. But I guess in the summer he was still wearing gloves, which makes sense. Don't want to leave no trace. So he goes on to say, um, Inshallah, if I'm not mistaken, is like, uh, God willing, I see a hundred. Uh, like he wants to live to a hundred. If he gets caught with it, whatever it is, he'll be home in three summers, three years. I mean, that's just one way to put it. And then if he gets caught without it, he may not live to speak about it. Uh, so these are different people catching him. And if he doesn't have whatever it is, he may be dead. And then he's going on to talk about his his boy. He's got he's still got forty. And he might not leave out or like he might not leave up out it. Like he may die in prison. He may never get out. So rough. And then that's the end of the song. This song is solid. Um I'm gonna have to listen to it a couple more times to really get a good idea of how I feel about her overall. But it was solid. I mean, when you have the three main members, you could say, of Griselda, I know there's way more now, um, when you have them three on a track, you're going to get some solid music. And I, it's very important that Conway has a track like this on God Don't Make Mistakes because, you know, it's, I guess, it's tradition, I guess. That's probably the easiest way to put it. Like, if you're going to have the Griselda member put out an album, it, it doesn't feel like a proper Griselda album unless all three of them are on it, at least on one track or uh, individual tracks. I, I kind of wish he did a solo track for the main single, because I guess even Griselda's promoting this as the single and not um, the piano track that he did a little, a little while ago. So I was hoping for like, the lead single to be something either solo or I don't know, maybe maybe a little different, but I'm not I'm not mad with what I got. Uh, but yeah, that's I'm, I'm gonna have to listen to it a few more times to really get a proper idea and to kind of pick up what I may have missed. But let me know in the comments below what you thought of this track and let me know if I missed something or misinterpreted anything because totally possible. Also, like and subscribe if you want, <laughs> uh, and please stay safe out there.